So this week's update from IHME on our analysis and modeling of the COVID pandemic, we're actually seeing uh, the trajectory that we laid out last week with global infections continuing to decline. We're down to about 3.6 million estimated infections in the world, which is similar to what we saw in mid-March. Uh, and we expect that decline to continue into the middle of October. And then we expect global infections to start climbing again, going back up to perhaps 5 million a week by the end of the year. And the, the climb in infections after mid-October will mostly be in the Northern Hemisphere uh, due to seasonality and the winter season. But we expect that winter surge in contrast to last year uh, to be much smaller because of vaccination and because so many people have already been infected with COVID. So you put those two together, uh, the accumulative you know, immunity that's occurring in most countries and at the global level is starting to be quite considerable. In fact, at the global level, we think about half the world will have effective immunity against Delta, either from vaccination or from natural infection. That still remain, leaves plenty of people to be infected, and we expect to see transmission continue well into uh, next year, even in the absence of new variants. Now, that view of you know uh, the, the bottom of transmission in mid-October and then climbing to a a modest or moderate winter surge in the Northern Hemisphere uh, is grounded on our models, which do not take into account that immunity against infection does appear, seems to wane after vaccination and natural infection, as opposed to less clear evidence about immunity uh, for hospitalization and death, where that seems to last quite a long time. So factoring that in might mean that our assessment of what's coming in the winter for the Northern Hemisphere is perhaps a little bit optimistic. On the other sort of positive front, we're seeing continued spread of um, you know, vaccination, first dose vaccination in, in a number of middle income countries, which are getting up to quite considerable levels. And we would expect that within about 60 days, we would see, uh, depending on the national uh, vaccination schedule, uh, for the second dose, fully vaccinated following suit. So making progress uh, on the number of vaccinated around the world, which is also uh, good news. Uh, key issues to watch for has been the same issue that we've raised for a few weeks, which is what's the potential of transmission in schools with school openings in many countries. Uh, some countries are reporting large numbers of children uh, in quarantine at home. Uh, but other than the double surge seen in Scotland, and then now Scotland's declining again, we have not yet seen another uh, sort of uh, accelerated surge driven by school openings. But of course, many will be watching that very closely. Other things to think about as we roll in later in the year, is that the Northern Hemisphere uh, health systems will be facing moderate COVID uh, numbers combined very likely with large flu uh, numbers. And so the stress on health systems we expect will be quite considerable in, in, in the Northern Hemisphere. There are specific countries where, uh, even though the global story is progress against Delta, that are still very much in their Delta surge. These include country, you know, some states in the northern part of the U.S., some provinces in Canada, some places in northern South America, big set of countries and, and, and regions in Central Europe, as well as uh, specific countries around the world like Papua New Guinea or Australia, where, and, and then a belt of countries in, uh, south of the Sahel in Africa where transmission is continuing to increase. But as we've seen elsewhere, we expect those Delta surges to peak and start to come down. And so this, this general pattern of the Delta surge starting to diminish. And now the question is how big will uh, the, the seasonality driven increases be uh, in the Northern hemisphere? So that's the main findings from our analysis this week.